I'm going to be doing another boot camp. For those of you who know, it's the Box Box TFT boot camp. Streamers will sign up. The signups will open very soon. Uh, I believe in two days. I gotta finish the website. The concept is cool. Uh, streamers sign up, they can be entertainers or they can be like high level players. The prize pool is gonna be somewhere around $20,000. Once you're approved, you're on the website, your account is tracked and every day at the midnight, the bottom two players will die. Riot said they really liked it. So I'm working closely together with them or even more closely now. It makes me very happy that they are recognizing it and the efforts because previously I was just paying like $20,000 to streamers for free. Well, I guess like for, in exchange for the notoriety of running a cool event, but now there's Riot support. Watching Netflix without ExpressVPN is like paying for a gym membership and only using the treadmill. So you probably already know that Netflix has a ton of shows, but do you know that each country has its own unique content library? That means you're only able to access a small portion of what Netflix truly offers based on your location. So with ExpressVPN, you get to take control of your online location, allowing you to access Canadian, Japanese, German, and many more versions of Netflix. Recently, I've been using ExpressVPN to watch Japanese shows that are region locked. ExpressVPN is so simple to use. Just open the app, select the desired country, tap one button to connect, and I refresh the page and unlock a whole new world of content. So why choose ExpressVPN over other VPNs? Well, ExpressVPN has lightning fast speed so you can enjoy uninterrupted HD streaming with zero buffering. And ExpressVPN also works on almost any modern device, whether it's your phone, laptop, or even media console or smart TV. ExpressVPN is compatible with them all. It's time to make the smart move. Don't settle for paying full price for streaming services only to experience a fraction of their content. Maximize your streaming experience today. Check out the link in the description below or go to expressvpn.com slash boxbox and get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. Thanks for listening and now back to the video. Gain a lesser or normal champion duplicator at the start of each stage. Oh, it's three star time. Boxbox, Box, it's the last game already. I just got here. Yeah, unfortunately I only have time for one more game, but I tell you what, I'll tell you what. For you, I'll multiply the amount of games played by three, then subtract one, take the square root of that, and then subtract 0.41. I, I don't actually, I didn't do the math, but I'm pretty sure what I said was a low number. Okay, tell you what, tell you what. For you, why don't I, why don't I play a random amount of games between three and negative 10 for you? Negative nine. Where there is evil, I shall go. Uh, wow, I have Yordles. Should, should this be my one, like, max Yordles game? I'm kind of down. Although, I'm not even sure you're supposed to play the Yordles, because they were, like, really useless until you hit all the three stars. Oh, is this the one time that we're gonna play the really OP Kale Yordles build? I actually haven't played it yet. I just know it's really broken. This could be my one game just to upload it to YouTube and then document how broken it is. Oh, wait. Hang on. Hang on. Radiant Relics, Curse Crown. Starter kit sounds kind of fun. You just like play around whatever you get and it's a really strong start. Wait, Cursed Crown? Cursed Crown seems kind of funny. The ultimate reroll game where I reroll like five one costs. All right, let's do it. Wait, I actually have too many things to buy. I'm actually gonna sell this for Nectin. This land was made for me. Wait, okay, okay, okay. Let's figure out a game plan that involves rerolling as many one costs as humanly possible. All right, I say this build's kind of cringe because like why come to PvE to play the best build in the game? Doesn't really make you a better player, but this is going to be the first time I've ever played it. Kale, Poppy, Tristana, Kled, and then there's room for Maokai, for Bastion, and then what? Galio, and then you need one Demacian, right? Oh no, th this is all your Demacias. Oh my, Viegos. All right, I just need Galio for three Demacia, and then I throw in the Tristana for uh, Yordles.
I mean, maybe it's Teemo over Tristana, but I like that you can just reroll re the Trist alongside the Kale. Interesting. Alright, give Kale the bow. Oh, I actually, I think I see. The reason why you would go Teemo here is because later... Yeah, later you can throw in Sona, that's Multicaster, and then Gar uh, Jarvan, that's 5 Demacia, and then Strategist. And it goes perfectly with Teemo's synergies. Okay, I understand. Tristana, you're fired. Please leave immediately. Uh, am I contested? Alright, let's use this one game to document how broken this build is. Because I'm pretty sure Kale is the best build in the game right now. In terms of, like, the highest average placement. And I'm pretty sure it's this variation of Kale. You just get a glimpse on your Kale, and then just watch as she evaporates the board. Don't play Teemo over second Poppy. Uh, oh yeah, I probably should have. What are the odds you get a glimpse? I, once I make a, a very important phone call, the odds are 100%. Hi. Yes. Two rods. Thank you. He said no. Okay, so you don't want to summon a shiv, because at level 6, Kale does a shred, and she has a built-in shiv. I'm actually scared that I'm going to lose the round. I mean, I'm, I'm playing Cursed Crown. There's no way I lose, right? Like, what? Someone's going to just have a god tier board that somehow beats my 6 units? There's no way, right? My board's actually pretty sick. I got a lot of 2 stars with decent synergies. This Viego will carry for a while. He might not be in the final comp, but he's quite a handsome man. Like, I feel like if Viego it was not completely the evil Shadow King who tries to corrupt everybody, he, he's, he's a pretty nice guy deep down. Like, I think he's just misunderstood. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I, I feel like just people did not give him a chance to really show who he is as a person. Like, I don't know how many of you guys have seen the the Mario movie, but I feel like... Spoilers. I feel like Bowser's pretty nice. Just nobody gave him a chance. Five streak. Five streak without rolling or leveling. Pause champ. What does Timo's ability do? Explosive heat seeking mushroom. <laughs> Interesting. Wounded and dealt magic damage. I'm gonna roll it down. I can hit. I don't wanna start losing with Curse Crown. I gotta hit the three star. If I stay two star forever, I'm gonna just die. We ain't got time to go 50 gold here. Give me a rod, please. Maybe QSS. Maybe Hodge. Where there is evil, I shall go. Out of my way! I'm going in! Army and ready! The Shadow Isles are just the beginning. Alright, I need to have one three star. Yes, we're fighting. Alright, that should be good enough. You are definitely not the hero. What's this? Oh! Okay, I'm not gonna use it yet. If, if, I'm gonna hit a Maokai anyway. I'm gonna use it for the Kale. Let's start the show.
Do I want to build a QSS on Kale? It might be low damage. Mm, but I don't have that many items to build. All natural? Wait, I'm gonna have so many three stars that are all natural. Oh my god. All natural, baby. Uh, what was my next unit? Oh my god, I forgot about Galio. Galio or Sona, come home. Galio or Sona. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whatever Sona BT on Poppy, there's no way, right? I don't even know what items are supposed to build here. Because this bow needs to turn into a Gwinsuce for Kale. That's like super best in slot. I think you actually just slam a QSS. It's a little bit low on damage, but it's fine. I've got Cursed Crown, like I'm very strong. Let's just not get stun locked. I had way too many components left over. All right, if I get one more Kale, I'm just gonna roll for it. Okay, so what am I missing? Uh, I'm missing Sona and Jarvan. I'm never hitting those at five. I'm actually down to get this three-star Viego. It's kind of working out. I wonder if Shimmer Scale would have been good. I could have farmed a lot of money. But it might be overkill. I feel like all natural is OP with the amount of three stars that I have. I'm just gonna like have be so tanky, nothing dies. I'm down for this QSS. Kale's guaranteed to get a lot of value off every fight. Can I get a K? Kale or Viego? Or sorry, Kale or Clyde. Oh, a one gold rod. Surely, nobody wants the one gold rod. Surely, it's mine. Nope. Bet. Okay. Surely, I get the belt and at least can... Nope. Surely, I get at least the chain vest. Okay, I can at least, like, make a tank item, I guess. Okay! All right, I mean, can you really lose from this spot? I feel like I'm illegally powerful. Reduce damage taken by 30% and heal. Afterwards, deal damage. Okay, so he's a tank. All right, I really need that glint. It's so important. Okay, we have a game on our hands. This might be the most woke cursed crown game ever. I'm aware that the build we're playing is OP, but I really like the spin on it with the Viego Maokai. This is fun. We are living life on the edge. I just gotta get one more Kale, then I'm down to roll for it, and then Nico it. And then I go level seven, get Kale Sona. Oh! Do I dare roll one time right now? I can still make Econ, I'm gonna do it. Everybody, think about a floating woman with wings, a helmet, and that's basically it. She's pretty average, honestly. Kale! Oh. Kale! Kale. <sighs> it's fine. I'm probably not gonna lose this round. My econ will still be fine. Well, I, I tried my best to think about all the good things about her. There's just, is there anything good about Kale? I don't really like her personality. I don't think she's that pretty. Like, don't tell her this, but I'm really just fielding her because she's really strong. Like, 
Don't get me wrong. She's not even the cutest floating unit on my bench. Right? Like, imagine flying and, like, you're not even the best at it. Go back. Oh, it, 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 are you looking at the Kale or what? Oh, the Viego? Please give me a rod. Please give me a rod. No! Redemption, though. All right. Kale! Oh, I got one! Wait, no, I, I should actually roll, though. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm two off. Oh, fuck. I'm two off. I thought I was one off. Oh, fuck. I shouldn't have leveled yet then. I, I was gonna level and then just like, if I didn't hit it, Nico it, but I didn't realize I was two off. All right, my bad. Okay, I, I probably have to double Nico her. Let me hit this Viego and then I'll double Nico. Or I hit one kill, one Viego, and then that works too. But I'm also getting close to these, like, I'm getting close to Kled and Timo. But I also have a big streak, so I feel like I should just keep rolling. I don't know. Playing real comps with Cursed Crown is really cursed. Because here, that moment, like, between 2-star and 3-star, you're so weak. You gotta, like, rush for it and just hope you hit. Rolling for days. That might be the play. Tons of stats. What the heck? Your team just gains a lot of everything. Capricious Forge sounds kind of sick, but I'm down for rolling for days. That's probably how I'm going to hit everything here. Oh, fuck. Okay, wait. I gotta do this. Sona will come... Sona will come back. Sona will come back. So Sona will come back. They shall tremble at my perfection. Oh, she actually did. Let's go. Alright, am I just Nikoing this Diego? Right, I could Nico the Viego, or I could just ask nicely for him to show up in the next roll. Boop. Defeat me if you can. It's just that easy. Holy crap! Why don't we just ask nicely? <laughs> Californian man solves TFT unit crisis. Why don't we just ask nicely? All right. Well, I've got two Nikos, so I can probably three-star everything. You have Kled 3 on bench. No, I'm li that literally throws the game if you Nico for Kled 3 here. You are 100% supposed to wait until you hit two of these and then Nico for the last one. Because if you Nico the Kled right now, you still have to roll for the Teemo and the Galio. Instead, you could roll for all three, hit any combination of some of them, and then use the Nico on the remainder. The value of the Nico scales up with how few outs you have left. Wow, I don't even have to like position because I got QSS. If I really wanted to, I could just slam this, but I'm down to try to wait. Oh wait, I just realized, don't I have to clump around my Kale and give give everybody stats? I totally forgot about that part of Demacia. Oh, it's only five. It's only five resists. Okay, it's fine. For five, I'm not gonna do it. Wait, I have a Poppy four. I have a Poppy four. Oh my god! I didn't realize! Hello, practice yunks. Thanks for the prime. Okay, if everybody could back away from the large woman with a rod. That would be... Galio? The gawk? I'll take a gawk. Hello, oh, Timmy X. I haven't gotten a rod this entire game. All right, I'm definitely not supposed to roll here because I just spiked, but I'm gonna roll because I'm angry. Galio! Oh my god! 
Wow, okay. I'm just gonna roll. I'm gonna hit everything. Like, I'm not supposed to roll, but I'm gonna just do it. Boom. Don't get weird on me! That nabbit, you're gonna get his tail! Whoa! Okay, between Galio and Teemo, I just have to get, get two of, two units left. Dude! Wait, this is sick. And not only that, my entire team is naked. So we're all natural. And everybody just heals for like, like this Poppy heals for 150 health per second. Per second! For free, from my augment. Right? All my other three stars, like this Kled, is gonna heal for uh, 100 HP per second. For free! All I have to do is not give him an item. That's this is such an insane augment value. All right, you're not supposed to roll here, but I've got 12 gold. I might as well just see. I'll even thin the pool. Galio or Timo? Sona? Well, now that I can't make econ, I might as well roll. Galio or Timo? Galio or Timo? Galio or Timo? Fuck. Definitely did not need to roll there. I was 100% gonna win this fight anyway, but I could not keep it in my pants. You didn't ask nicely. That's true! That's true, that's true. Yeah, that's pretty true. I gotta, I gotta work on my manners. Okay, Sona's actually sick. She just buffs my whole team. They're clustered in the middle. I can see why this comp is so OP. And now we have the exact same combo with a random 3-star Maokai and Diego in it. And they actually synergize. Alright. I'm going to ask in my gentlest voice. Galio and Timo and Sona, please come home. Oh, really? Oh my god. That's all you have to do. And then I'll roll again and maybe I'll see another one. Maybe. Yeah, we just need a G, a T, an S. A G, a T, an S. Is this reroll comp the one? Oh, it's definitely OP. I expected to get nerfed, but it it's quite powerful. The Viego and Maokai are just like nice plus twos because uh, of Cursed Crown. It was nice to reroll. Wait, what if I ask nicely for a rod? I haven't gotten a rod all game, but right here, boom. Uh, boom. Money. Uh-oh. Rod? <gasps> Please, Galio, Timo, Sona. Okay! Boom. Boom. Greetings, giant glowing mineral. I must break you. Boom. Yes, sir. I'll scout ahead. My entire team is completely golden. Oh. Uh. <clears throat> My entire team is completely golden. Every unit you can see on this board. Gold. Oh, she's back. All right, I just have to slam a giant slayer. And then... I guess I'll itemize someone, Titans, Bramble. All right, am I gonna slam Titans, Bramble, Puppy 4? Wait, my team went four star. Wait, I'm pretty sure I can choose who my four star unit is. I can choose by giving one of them items. So I can choose if I want Clyde, Poppy, or Timo to be the four star. These items probably work best on Clyde. Oh, just bench it? No, Timo came back. Yeah, okay, so I'm pretty sure you just itemize Kled and then he becomes the four star. Yeah, he does. Oh, ties for most items are broken by the Yordle fielded most recently. I mean, it's fine, I'll just slam items on one of them anyway. I, there's no way I don't want the one with items to be the four star. Kled sucks, are you kidding me? Like, who else is gonna use Titan's Bramble? This Poppy's kind of, or this Kled is kind of pog. Let's see what he does. Four star upgrade, he executes enemies under 20% health. Oh, he's an ace. He's an ace, baby. Honestly, maybe I should, still should have done Poppy because uh, she is um, Demacia. 
So I could have three items her. No, honestly, I'm down. Let's let's go back in time and just give Poppy the items, and then once you get Garen, no, not Garen, uh, Jarvan, for Demacia Strategist, uh, Poppy gets a Radiant item. I mean, I can fix it, right? So I just have to um, put the next item on Poppy. She's going to not be naked anymore and not get all natural. This guy's so golden, but I'm pretty sure there's no way he beats my comp. My comp is crazy. Just sell Kled and roll for him again. Oh yeah. Wait, this guy is kind of strong. Three-star Akshan, not strong enough though. He's dead. Oh, what a crazy board. Game's like almost over. All right, what's an item that Poppy would want? Probably this Gargoyle. There's also the Redemption. Do I have one already? I already have one. How does Lock interact with 4-star units? Probably the same as a 3-star. Alright. I'm just gonna level. I What do I want here? I just want any Demacian. Any Demacian? Not not you. Any Demacian? Uh, not you! Any Demacian? Any Demacian? Ah. Okay, so boom, and then now she gets the item, and then now I need to bench her and field her again so that she becomes the 4-star, and then I need to wrap everybody around my P for uh, maximum Demacia armor and MR value. Okay, so now we have a 4-star Poppy. Knock the target into the largest clump of enemies, dealing max health. Oh, that's kind of sick. And it stuns. Oh, it's definitely way better than what Kled can do. Oh yeah, I definitely should not have itemized the Kled. Eh, it's fine. Wait, I think I lost. Wait. Wait, did I just lose? <gasps> I got owned! It's because I don't have a Gwinsu's. I don't scale. Oh god. No, not you! Oh, it's because I don't have my Gwinsu's. I'm getting GG'd. Gwinsu's gap. My Kale is so strong. She just doesn't have a scale. Like, <laughs> scale. Kale. She just can't scale. I, I hit zero rods this game. God, we're so unlucky, says the man with an entirely golden board. All right, I've got two options. I can stay seven and roll for Sona three, uh, Jarvan two for strategist and the AoE stun. Or I can just try to go 9. What does she gain at level 9? Every attack launches a wave and they travel further. Okay, so it's like big AoE. Alright, Sona, you're fired. I gotta see the ultimate Kale game. Hello, Floopy is your mom. Thanks for the prime. Wait. I'm actually... I think going 9 is such a wrong play here, because you literally just cannot get enough money before the game ends. Right? Like, next round, it's going to be just me and this guy. Then he's going to beat me for like 25 damage, then he's going to beat me for 25 damage, then he's going to beat me for 25 damage, and at that point, I don't think I'm going 9. Sona, come back! I'm sorry! I've done you wrong! Oh wait, what's this? Oh my god, I, it was a duplicator. I 100% should have gone for it. Sona, take me back! Oh. Oh wait, should I just do this? Okay, okay, I think the best play at this point is do that, and then do this, and then at least go eight and play something. But yeah, I definitely should have just went for the Sona three. All right, what's the best unit I can play here? Invoker? Maybe a Rise? Oh, maybe an Aatrox. Okay, wait, look at this! I figured out how we can win. Demacia gives your units a random Radiant item that is good for them. Gwinsus is a random Radiant item that is good for Kale. 
All I have to do to beat this guy is RNG Gwinsu's twice, and I have enough damage to beat him. It's so easy. Wait, I beat him. Oh, that's the Jarvan diff. Please get a Gwinsu's. Oh, it, it's already decided. Oh, all right. That's awkward. Dude, I actually missed Sona 3. Let's do this. This could be the final fight. If not, I'll go eight and I'll just throw in whatever I can. The ultimate Azir build versus the ultimate Kale build, minus the Gwinsus. We've got Archangels. It is a little bit of scaling. I've got four star Poppy in the middle. Is it good enough? It's close, but I think we're going to just barely take it thanks to the Jarvan Diff. What a stun! Oh, that was beautiful. What an insane Cursed Crown game. That build's kind of bunkers. Very fun, though. The random, uh, the random improv to throw in Maokai Viego to go with the Cursed Crown. Normally, the build is just this without Maokai Viego. But it worked out really well, because Cursed Crown allowed us to, like, roll for additional one cost and fit them on the board. That was cool. That was pretty pog.